Hi everyone, I'm Joe Santa Cruz, and welcome back to our Career Connection series. Today, we're furthering the conversation around why you should utilize career services as a student at Salem State University. I'm pleased to be welcomed again by two guests, um, both who are alums, who are here to share their experiences. Our first guest is Diana Vasquez. Diana graduated in 2016 from Salem State with a BS in Business Administration. Uh, during her time as an undergrad, she was heavily involved as a student leader with various organizations such as the Latin American Student Association and the Association of Latino Professionals for America. She now serves as an operations analyst at Unite Us, which is a technology company that builds coordinated care networks of health and human service providers to address all determinants of health. Diana, great to see you. Thanks for being with us today. Oh, thank you for having me. Of course. So a couple questions for you. The first one, why did you decide to utilize career services during your undergraduate experience? Yes, um, so I was a first generation student and when I was in high school, I was always in the guidance counselor's office. Um, I was in after school programs and I just knew the benefit of utilizing the resources that are made available to you. Um, it can be intimidating um, and all of those things, but I needed the support. I have a lot of experience and I had a lot of experience at that time, but I just didn't know how to compile it, how to really like sell myself, how to really um, just put everything I've done into one condensed talking track into one form. Um, so I just needed, I needed the support of career services. And as I progressed through undergrad, you know, I've gained more experiences. I got more involved and I just needed a way to be able to communicate that. Excellent. So what did we help you out with specifically in career services? Oh, everything. <laughs> so um, building my resume, kind of honing in on my skills. Um, it's almost like I could articulate what I was doing, but I didn't know how to use like the, you know, career and employment terminology to be able to express that understanding my cover letter better and really just how to put everything into a letter and not have it sound exactly like my resume and have it be more of a conversation. Um, a lot of collaboration on events, for example, as part of Alpha, we had a resume building night. So that's something that was just it's something we, we knew would be beneficial to folks and maybe folks didn't feel so comfortable going into the, the career services office immediately. Uh, so this was kind of like a bridge between that. And then even after graduating, Joe, I reached out to you as when I was serving at AmeriCorps at La Vida Scholars to speak to the high school students um, just about career services and kind of it not seeming so intimidating and why it's important to, to utilize career services. So thank you for helping me during undergrad and after graduation. Of course, of course. So that, I think that's a good segue into my next question is why should somebody take advantage of a resource like career services? Um, well, you already pay for it. <laughs> that's the main thing you do. Um, and like I mentioned earlier, it can seem intimidating, but when you go into career services, they're not expecting you to have everything put together. If that was the case, then the office wouldn't exist. They know that you're coming with a ton of experience or maybe no experience, and they're there to help guide you into your next steps and what to do with all of the, all of the knowledge and experience that you have, whether that's in a career path, whether that's just getting something on paper, whether it's how to help you get more involved in campus or outside of campus. So I think utilize it because you pay for it and they're not expecting you to have it all together because if that was the case, they wouldn't be there. True. Uh, last question for you. Just give us a little bit about what you've been up to you know, since graduation. Yes. So after graduation, like most people, I felt really lost. I thought I had it all together. I'm a type A kind of person. So I'm like, okay, next step is this, this, and this. And when I decided not to get my master's right away, I was like, well, what can I do? And I didn't have the finances that I thought after graduating, but I had the time and I've always wanted to serve my community um, of Lynn, Massachusetts. So I decided to serve in AmeriCorps. And I did a year of service at La Vida Scholars, which is actually the college access program that helped me get into college. Um, and then after that, I got a full-time job at a nonprofit called College for Social Innovation as a recruiter. And then after that, I was at Chica Project, um, which is a nonprofit that assists young women um, develop their personal and professional skills um, in Boston. So I was there and then I decided to move to Louisiana and now I am in New Orleans and I work at Unitas, as you mentioned, is a health technology company that helps address all the social determinants of health through an online platform. And that's where I am now as an operations analyst. Fantastic. Diana, it seems like you've had an unbelievable career path. Um, so glad that you were able to join us today for a few minutes. Uh, thank you for your time and, and obviously good luck going forward with everything that you're doing in your, in your current job. 
Well, thank you so much for having me and for always being available, as I mentioned, during undergrad and after and reaching out and allowing us to elevate ourselves and our platform and the work that we're doing. Absolutely. Our pleasure. Good to see you. Take care. Have a good rest of the day. Thank you. Bye-bye. We appreciate Diana's time and, of course, her expertise and experience around her, uh, her time at Salem State. Next, we're going to go to Jeff Pierre-Louis. Uh, Jeff uh, received his Bachelor's in Business Administration in 2015 and a Master's Degree in Project Management from Colorado State in 2020. Uh, Jeff has been working in the construction industry for four years now, uh, where he began as an estimator for a laboratory furniture company and has worked his way up to a project manager role at Cambridge Housing Authority, working on renovations of affordable housing units. Jeff, great to see you. Thanks for joining us today. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me, Joe. Absolutely. Um, so, a couple of questions for you. First one, why did you decide to utilize career services during your undergraduate experience? Oh, well, I mean, the main reason, I, I started um, going to the career services junior year, um, just to get a bit, like a gist of like what it's about. But it was mainly senior year because, you know, the senior, I'm about to graduate. So I, so I kind of um, kind of forgot about it because I was just so, so focused on just trying to get my grades intact as well as trying to graduate. But then I realized that, um, uh, that we had the resources and I wasn't using the resources at Salem State. So um, I did go to the career service and, and that's when I met you <laughs> and uh, you um, brought me through the, uh, the process again, as well as um, we started um, working on my resume. And, um, and that's the reason why I started going there because um, I was going to graduate as a senior and I, and I did notice that I didn't have any like I didn't have any jobs lined up and I wanted to get that process started. Gotcha. Um, so you mentioned a resume a little bit. What else did we assist you with during your time? Great service. So, so you guys assisted me with the resume. You guys um, show me the, um, the database of um, the career services and how to um, utilize it. Um, that was mainly the, uh, the main things about it. And then as well as you uh, show me different companies that uh, use the database as in state. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Um, in your opinion, why should somebody who's an undergrad now at Salem State, maybe who's never taken advantage of our services, why should they, why should they come in and see us? Well, I think it's a great opportunity, especially for students that they have a resource that um, different companies that probably you wouldn't even think of is using the, um, the, uh, the database to locate um, new talent. And um, I think Salem State has, you know, great talent. At the um, at the college, so that by the students using the database, it will be helpful for them to uh, jumpstart their career after they have finished college. Absolutely. Um, last one for you. Give us a little bit of an update. You know, what have you been doing since graduation? Um, and where are you at now? <laughs> so, like I said, um, like you said in my bio, I did start as a project estimator. Um, I didn't graduate <laughs> with a construction degree. I graduated a business administration. So it was kind of um, funny that I went into the construction industry, but it was just the fact that um, I just picked up things really, really quickly. And so that, so that propelled me from being a project estimator to assistant project manager. And then what I am now as a project manager in the construction industry before it came into housing authority. So um, the process was, um, it went pretty quickly at, um, actually. Um, usually sometimes people, when they start the construction industry, it usually takes them some time, but I've propelled in the short amount of time that I've been working there to, uh, to the position I am now. And then I'm, I did um, obtain my master's degree. So with that, I'm going to be looking forward, hopefully, to um, become a senior project manager, or maybe a project executive in the near future. Excellent. Good for you. Um, so glad to hear things are going well. Uh, hopefully you continue to progress in your career. Um, thank you so much again for taking a few minutes to talk to us today. Um, and then obviously good luck going forward, um, you know, in your career. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. I appreciate it. I mean, it was, it was kind of funny you um, um, just contacting me and um, we haven't talked in a while. So it was good um, talking to you and as well as um, doing this interview. Absolutely. Great to catch up as always. Jeff, thank you. And thanks again. We'll be in touch. Have a good rest of the day. You too.
And thanks to Jeff for his time and, and sharing his experiences with us today. Uh, if you'd like to further the conversation, please go ahead and do so through an appointment. You can schedule via your Handshake account uh, by calling us at 978-542-6406 or by emailing career at salemstate.edu. Don't forget, check out our resources on our website, salemstate.edu forward slash careers, and we'll see you next time.